The IJA keeps posting videos of juggling contraptions to their Instagram account, some of which they label as juggling robots. This device is super interesting, but is it a robot? This one looks good fun too, but is it a robot? We can all agree that this is a juggling robot, but is this also a juggling robot? What about this thing, is that a robot? What makes a juggling contraption a robot or not? Let's investigate. The most basic self-supported or freestanding juggling contraption is the juggling apparatus. The common types of juggling apparatus use physics and engineering principles to expand the possibilities of juggling patterns, extending the time between individual throws and catches or changing the paths of the balls. They typically use kinetic and potential energy to enable swinging pendulums, rolling balls, long sequences of bounces, and much more. However, the apparatus itself doesn't do any throwing or catching, nor does it add extra energy beyond what the juggler provides. If a juggler walks away from the apparatus, the props may keep moving for a while, but eventually they will come to rest at their lowest energy level. So at minimum, for something to be a juggling robot, it has to be a self-supporting contraption that uses a non-human energy source, such as electric motors, magnets, compressed air, or loaded springs, and then uses that energy to throw, catch, or hold juggling props via mechanical principles. Once something does this, it is no longer a juggling apparatus, but a juggling machine. The most common juggling machine you'll see on stage is the mechanical prop stand. When the juggler wants a prop, the machine throws, drops, launches, or holds out a prop for the juggler to catch or take and then juggle. Other juggling machines can catch or hold onto a juggling prop during a juggling pattern, keeping them stable in an elevated position until the juggler wants it back. That's the key distinction of a juggling machine. The prop doesn't reach the juggler automatically at the end of its downward path or as it drops out of a contraption. The juggler triggers the action when they want it to happen. And the juggler has to be there to complete the job. The machine itself isn't doing the juggling. So a mere juggling machine can't be a juggling robot. So at a minimum, for something to be a juggling robot, it has to be a self-supporting contraption that uses an external energy source to mechanically control juggling props and also doesn't need a human juggler involved to keep the juggling going. A machine that emulates the physical motions of a juggler is a juggling automaton. Once the automaton is up and running, no human input is required. The actions of the automaton are preset or pre-programmed in advance. Juggling automata rely on static stability to continue juggling. This is known as open loop control or non-feedback control. In most cases, the funnel shape of the hands are such that the balls always come to rest in exactly the same place. The timing is fixed and their actions repeat exactly on every throw so the ball always follows the exact same path in the air. And the hands are large enough so that the ball always hits its target. Bouncing automata are also self-correcting without any ongoing control, both in bounce height and directions. That's not to say that automata aren't capable of advanced juggling. How about a five-ball bounce cascade? Or even a five-ball toss cascade with high throws, as demonstrated by the servo juggler. But even with five balls, everything is decided in advance. This video's description includes all the parts must be carried out in the right order and in the right time instant. Electronic cams are used to plan and synchronize the motion trajectories. The ball is dropped intentionally and then thrown up again. That's right, even the drop is pre-programmed. Electronic cams and computer control have enough precision to juggle five balls or even do crazy fast kandama style tricks. But in both of these cases, the motions are as predetermined as any other cam-driven automaton. A juggling automaton doesn't know if it is juggling or not, it's just going through the motions. So at a minimum, for something to be a juggling robot, it can't just emulate the motions of a human juggler, it must also emulate the brain of a juggler. It has to know it is juggling, and then it is a juggling robot. If there isn't a ball to catch and throw, or bounce, it won't move at all. As soon as there is something to be juggled, it will start juggling, and if there's no ball to catch or bounce, it will stop juggling. To know if it should start catching and throwing or bouncing, a juggling robot uses sensory input. It couples that with an ongoing decision-making process to continue the juggling pattern. It's a dynamic system needing continuous feedback and control. And this is a very difficult problem to solve. So difficult, in fact, that in all my research, I've only found a single example of a juggling robot that can juggle three balls and only manages about five or six catches. The Disney Research Labs robot only does half the cascade. Two of these robots facing each other could juggle three balls, I'm sure. 
The Sarkos humanoid robot juggled three balls for much longer, but on closer examination, in this example it is running a completely pre-programmed series of throwing and catching movements. The funnel-like hands, every throw and catch in exactly the same place. This is indistinguishable from every other juggling automata video. The same robot can demonstrate a single catch based on visual feedback, but it has a different hand design and displays very different movement and reaction characteristics. More tellingly, the video of the Sarkos robot doesn't show the beginning of the pattern, nor the end, nor any drops or variations, and these are the distinguishing features of every true juggling robot video I could find. So this 2019 example from Shiba University is the best robot juggler you can see at the moment. Anyway, next time someone shares a juggling contraption on Instagram, watch carefully to see if it knows if it is juggling or not, or if it's just going through the motions. It's probably a juggling automaton, not a juggling robot, but that's not a bad thing. Building juggling automata is a great test of design and manufacturing skills. That's why so many of these are made by university students or beginners tech demos for automation companies and experts. Demonstrating precision is the entire goal of a juggling automaton, and because they work so flawlessly and their actions loop so perfectly, they are weirdly satisfying to watch. Juggling robots, on the other hand, are clumsy, prone to making mistakes, and have reached the same level of skill as a talented dog. They are abstractly impressive, but not satisfying to watch at all. And this is all good for me as a professional juggler and entertainer. Juggling automata are great for Instagram posts, science exhibits and art installations, but not live shows. Juggling robots are still research projects and have less skill than your uncle who kind of thinks he's cool. We humans don't have to worry about the competition at all. That is, until someone tells Boston Dynamics to try a robot juggling project. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider supporting the creation of more videos like it via Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash Luke Burridge.